Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Topps Series 2 Baseball. Six box, jumbo edition, pick your team number seven. A lot of great stuff here, all card ship. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. I think we had a little discount on some of the remaining teams that were left today, so thanks to everyone who took advantage of that. On a Monday, Eddie, last spot mojo with the Twins. There's the rest right there. Thanks everyone for making this happen. Here it is, fresh case of series two. As a reminder, some of the, uh, the top tier rookies that we're chasing here, I think we know by now, Jordan Walker, Masataka Yoshida, Anthony Volpe, Francisco Alvarez, James Outman, Corbin Carroll. And of course, all card ships, so even, some, even the rookies aren't on that list, they'll go to you, obviously, and then we'll see. Hey, hopefully they'll become perennial all-stars. That's what we'd love to see. Future Hall of Famers, maybe. I mean, that'd be pretty awesome. If, we, if, this, if there's some Hall of Famers in this draft class, that would be great. He would also would be great, ladies and gentlemen, if Joe remembers to take these boxes out of inventory before he starts a break. That, that, would be, that would be nice. Otherwise, let's update that. All right. Away we go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Looking for one autograph and two rally cards per box on average. There'll be box toppers up here as well. Plus the silver packs. The silver packs, um, they can be uh, they can be numbered. They can also be autographed. All right, who's breaking records here? That looks like uh, the polar bear breaking records. We got some NBA action on in the background. Got some NBA countdown at the moment. Aaron Gordon being interviewed. You can vote in our poll if you're watching on the YouTube stream. If you're on Twitch, you can go over to the YouTube chat really quick and you can vote in our poll. Who wins game five tonight? The Heat are down 1 3. They're in Denver. Denver is one win away from their first. I think their first. NBA title. Is this their first t finals appearance? That I don't know. I feel like they've been there once or twice before. But they've never won at all. Not even in the ABA days? Maybe someone, someone might correct me on that in the chat. Uh, but 72% of Jaspi viewers and voters are saying that, uh, that Denver is going to take care of business tonight on their home court. Although, not to count chickens before they hatch, but I wonder if uh, I wonder if uh, Denver players would rather close this out in Miami for Game Six. No offense to uh, no offense to Denver, but in terms of a party town, a celebration town. All right, got some Nelson Cruz to two ninety nine, and of course these will go to the teams they're currently on. Nelson Cruz going to the Padres. That'll be for Greg. The Francisco Alvarez rookie card going to the Mets. James, you'll get all of those. And we're going to breeze through these. And just in the interest of time, I'm going to try to go a little quickly here. But, but if I miss some of these names I would mention at the beginning of the break, 
Don't worry, all card chip, as long as you see it, we're going to ship it. It's Ty France, and there's our first autograph. It's Jim Abbott. Nice little ding in that corner there, which is unfortunate. Just be aware of that, Angels, but that's for you, Jeremy. Nice. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break as well. There's our first Anthony Volpe, first of many, I hope. Another slight corner issue there. And there's plenty of cards here. I'm sure there'll be some nice ones in here too. Ronzi Contreras, Jesus Aguilar, that's to 2023. That's bronze border. David, what's up? You got your elements hits today. Nice. That's always a fun moment. Opening up Jaspi shipments. Glad we had a glad we had stuff to send you. That doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes these these group breaks can be cruel. Always nice when there's something to open though. Taylor Walls and Michael Conforto, 1999. I think that has like a different. More of a paper background to it, different logo stamp. But Michael Conforto going to Eric and the Giants. And here's a James Altman rookie card for my Dodgers. Tristan has the Dodgers. Keegan Aiken, silver. Got a Julio Rodriguez for the Mariners in his international gear. I'm gonna save one of these guys. I know he's not on, not on officially on our list, but is there an outside chance at Estuary Ruiz can uh, win Rookie of the Year? Here's Yoshida, who's. I think we checked last week, but I think he was, as of last week, he was uh, the favorite for Rookie of the Year. There's Corbin Carroll, I think the NL's favorite for Rookie of the Year. But Estuary Ruiz, I know that the A's are a pretty bad team, but... Estuary Ruiz... Things. Is he still sitting at, no, he's at 31 stolen bases now. I mean, someone math out the, the on-pace numbers there, but he's at 31 stolen bases. I mean, I think we looked it up. The last time there was a 100 base stealer was, I think, was it like Vince Coleman in the 80s or something like that? It's the last time we've seen a, a 100 base stealer. It would be cool to see that happen. It would be a nice little bright spot for, uh, for, for the A's. It's had a rough season. Rough for their fans too. I mean, unless things really, unless the deal falls through, I think they're, they're going to be on their way to Vegas in a couple years or 
if not a bit sooner. There's Igai Rosario to 2023 for the Padres while they wait for their stadium to get built. Jordan Groshans and a relic. Yes, Alex Bregman. That's going to be for the Strohs. That'll be for Tristan. All those Jordan Walkers will be going to James and the Cardinals. Austin Hedges gold foil and another relic, a little bit thicker, triple crown relic. Your AL pitching triple crown. Wins. That's wins, strikeouts, and ERA, right? Derek Jeter, Ezekiel Tovar. I think Ezekiel Tovar is also another guy to keep an eye out for. Josh Young is another one of those guys. There's, this rookie class is actually quite good. A lot of potential here. Here, This is for Tristan in Texas. I'm sure those there might have been some others I missed, but let's see if we can find some numbered cards, maybe some gold or silver foil of any of those rookies would be awesome. Is that right? Wow, breaking news. Rex is saying Pat Sajak announcing his retirement next year. So are you saying this year is his last year or is he doing one more year? Ooh, numbered. You're gonna be autographed? No, but a nice orange Kirby Puckett, 21 out of 25 from Minnesota. Eddie and the Twins, last spot mojo. Who would I like to see take over for Pat Sage? I'll be honest with you, Rex, I have not seen an episode of Wheel of Fortune in God knows how long. You know, like, my parents watch that show. I suppose I'll ask them. Who would they like to see take over for, uh, for Pat Sajak? Is Vanna White still on the show? Is she still on there? It's Bryce Harper. Box topper for the Phillies. That'll be for Tristan. Put the silver packs up on the top camera there. So September starts the 41st season. He will do that entire season. So towards the end of towards the end of next year. I feel like there's a great um, I think there's a I think there's a great uh whatchamacallit, memoir, I think, that Pat Sajak and or Vanna White wrote, talking about like the er, like the first decade or whatever of, of, uh, of Wheel of Fortune. And apparently there's, there's, some, there's some really fun stories of them when, when they were a lot younger. They, like, you know, and taping would be like all day for like those game shows. And so there'd be like, you know, two hour like multi martini lunches type thing and they'd come back and do the rest of the day like a little tipsy and it's a, it's just a lot of uh, a lot of fun there I don't know let's put it to the chat wheel of fortune fans I do like that game 
Um, who would you uh, want to see replacing Pat Sajak? Nice. David had the Eagles. The Elements 2 struck out. Then watch Elements 1. No Eagles. See? That's, that's a sharp play, David. And then got the Eagles in 3, figuring, man, they got to be somewhere, right? Good call. And a Nicobe Dean, Dallas Goddard, both autos. Hey, the thrill of the chase. Here's out of 72, Colin McHugh for the ATL. Jeremy with that one. <laughs> uh... I think that's um, that's fake, by the way, Rex. It is funny though. There's Brian with the Red Sox. Another Francisco Alvarez. Jonathan India, and we got a Brian Bayo autograph. I think he had the start last night. I think he actually did pretty well. Uh, Brian with an I, getting Brian with a Y, and the Boston Red Sox. To 199. All these Corbin Carrolls are going to Diego and the Diamondbacks. Maybe we'll find some numbered Carrolls. Maybe we'll find some ink. That would be awesome. There's Jesus Lazardo to 2023. Oh no, the wax party. Well, thankfully, David, there are plenty of wax party invites remaining. So there are uh, plenty of opportunities if you want to take advantage of that on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Ooh, nice. That's a home field advantage. Diego, look at this. Now, I have been to Phoenix many a time, and this is exactly what downtown Phoenix looks like. All right, there's, there's giant diamondbacks, there's hot air balloons, some cacti, a big Arizona sign, you know, rocky crags. Grand Canyon. Nice. This is uh, not always one per case. I think it's shorter printed than one per case. But Diego, nice one. That's your that's your favorite, your odds-on favorite for NL Rookie of the Year at the moment, as of uh, Monday, June twelfth, twenty twenty-three. But that race could change at any time. It's will be one to look out for the rest of the summer. I mean, Corbin Carroll is pretty good right now, too, Mike. But the future is bright. To think that if he could be even better, that would be good for the hobby. Also, first place Diamondbacks? Spencer Steer is also having a good season. First place Diamondbacks? 
going on there? This reminds me of the year. This rem kind of reminds me of the year where the where the Giants had that one blip and had like a hundred and five win season or something like that. Right, no sophomore slump. Exactly, Mike. We're rooting for no sophomore slumps. That is good for the hobby. As a Dodger fan, I'd like to see James Altman kind of heat back up again, get himself back into that NL Rookie of the Year race. J-Rod's kind of coming around, right? At least he's doing better than, than the early part of the season. Dylan Carlson, Kodai Senga, 2023 for the Mets, that'll be for James. Got an Alec Burleson rookie relic for the Cardinals. That's going to go to James and the Redbirds. More Corbin Carroll. Back of the card felt different, but it's not different. <laughs> got Hunter Dozier, gold. And we got a Ty Cobb commemorative relic talking about his triple crown. You anything, Joe? No, sir. I'm good. Yeah. See you, Thomas. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Tristan and the Tigers. Tiger uppercut. I really want uh, Soto keep, to keep heating up. Sad my Nats traded him, but he has a potential to be on. He really does. I, I think it's also kind of surprising how young Juan Soto is. Like you look at his age and you're like, you feel like he's been in the league forever, but he's still pretty, still pretty young. He's, he can accomplish a lot of things. I think, is he gonna walk? I think he's gonna hit free agency after the end of this season, right? Or is that the? Or does he have one more year under contract? He might have one more year. Actually, I think he has one more year, right? At the end of twenty twenty four. Right, because this year is the Otani free agency, and I suppose the following year will be whoever misses out on. Otani can can chase after uh, Juan Soto unless unless the Padres lock him up. All right, two boxes down, four boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Sort of an easy question. Name the top three teams for Rookie of the Year. Top three teams? For, oh, the, the three teams that have the most? I think the Dodgers have the most. But I don't know who has like who has second most. Mike, your Nationals, though, they've got a lot of young talent coming up the ranks. There's Rhino right here for the Cubs, Chris Parent. I think uh, 
Maybe the Mets? Second team with the most rookies of the year. I don't know, who would, who would the third team be? Dodgers are in the top three. That's got to, Dodgers have to be in the top three. No, Mets are not in the top three. A's maybe. I like Josiah Gray, my former former Dodger prospect, Josiah Gray. I like that he's. You know the win loss record doesn't show it, but if you look at his other numbers, man, he's looking looking like he's having a breakout season, and he's and from start to start he seems consistent too. I think that that was it. Last year we saw glimmers of of what he could do, but a good start was often followed by a couple not so good starts, and then there was a great start and then a bad start. You know, but I think this year is a little more a little more consistent. Which is, which is what you want to see. I wish pitchers were a little more popular in the hobby, but it's still, it's still cool. There's Kyle Freeland, and we've got uh, three out of 50, the Baltimore outfield performing their uh, post-game celebration. All right there, that'll go to Aaron and the O's. A's are third. Is it the Orioles? Reds, maybe? Francisco Lindor, and we've got a Reese Hoskins autograph, one of the, the nicer penmanships in the hobby. The Yankees? Reese Hoskins for Tristan and the Phillies. I didn't realize that the Yankees, I always thought they were always Acquiring talent elsewhere. Suppose. Suppose they've developed some talent as well. I guess Jeter was homegrown. Did Jeter win Rookie of the Year? I guess that 90s era Yankees team actually was homegrown, right? Most of them. A little blend of both. We got Miguel Rojas, 2023 for the Dodgers. And we've got Miami at Denver tipping off here. Currently 74 per, you can still vote. I'll give it through the first quarter, but um, you can still vote. Who's gonna, uh, who's gonna win tonight's game, NBA Finals game? 74% currently saying Denver Nuggets. Got a Dane Dunning and an Adam Odovino to 199 for James and the Mets. And the Dodgers have 18, Yankees have 9 Rookies of the Year, A's have 8 Rookies of the Year. Uh, I 
think Denver takes care of business. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't have any play on this, but... Kevin Love starting? Kevin Love starting. He's got... I think he recently... Uh, welcomed a new child into this world. So he's got dad strength going. He's got a new dad strength. Old Chris Taylor. And we've got Chris Taylor's former teammate, Justin Turner, to 2023. Red Sox edition. He's going to go to Brian... Yeah, the A's have had a lot of a lot of young talent that they they have shipped away. You could probably you could probably field. Well, they have eight, right? You could, you could probably field an entire roster of players that they have traded away way too way too early. Or Frank Thomas, piece of the lumber. The wood, the big wood, the big hurt. EA with the White Sox. Trust me, EA. She'll like this too. But there was like the, the like sort of that, well the in in the movie Moneyball, I feel like there was, they had like like Giambi and Damon maybe did they have Johnny Damon I think something like that, maybe Eric Chavez Tejada on that team. There was like that late '90s, early 2000s era team, the early 2000s team. Here's Jeff McNeil, Silver Slugger to 299 for James and the Mets, but I feel like. Whatever that era was, that there there should have been the ability to kind of hold on to that young talent that they had developed, but they just ended up kind of losing guys piece by piece. Which is unfortunate. That A's ownership, you know, has has not treated the fans very fairly. I like the, I think fans are planning on like a reverse, a reverse protest or whatever, right? There's Ryan Nelson for the Diamondbacks that's going to go to Diego because the ownership's claiming, hey, you know, there's just no fans in Oakland, which I, which is not true. There are fans there, but they just haven't built a team worth seeing. Yeah, the reverse protest, yeah. Yeah, which kind of gives, yeah, it gives the, still puts money in the owner's pockets, but they gotta show, they gotta show it somehow. All right, we're halfway through this break. We got about another 30, 35 minutes to go. Are the A's 100% going to Vegas? No, it's not 100%, but it's like 90%. The owners still have to approve it. I don't think they're all, I don't think all the owners are getting together until All-Star break maybe. They might not do a vote until then to approve the move. But I guess people are saying it's, I mean, they're already buying land you know, in Vegas, and they already have the state or the Vegas City Council's already voting on, you know, how to who's going to pay for what. So I guess that could be a hold up, but eventually that'll get done. But I can't imagine, short of 
you know, I don't know, short of something crazy happening. But I guess it would take something crazy to happen if that deal were to, were to go through. How many of the, you know, David, we keep track of that on the break schedule. So Nightbot frequently drops that break schedule and I'll drop it for you as well. If you go there and click Wax Party, here's a Wax Party tab. We've been keeping track of all that because we knew it was going to be a frequently asked question. So that, that information is available to you for everybody. In fact, you can even bookmark that link and you can even look at that if, even if we're not on air, you can browse around there and just look at all the fun information we have. There's a shipping tab there too that'll give you some updates on uh, where your break is going to be. Keep in mind that breaks like this, like Series 2, will probably take an extra couple days or so for us to sort it completely and ship it. It's just a bigger break. takes a while. Ah, Scott is just going to feed you the... I was trying to teach, teach people how to fish, Scott. Scott's just going to give him the fish. Yeah, it looks like 96 left. And remember, if you look at the wax party details on the website, jaspiescasebreaks.com, we are going to do a few, two or three giant mixers where we're going to give away like 15 to 20 wax party spots. So there's going to be kind of a grand finale sort of thing where we have like, I think we're planning on like super high-end mixers, like $1,000 a spot mixers, something like that, where like 15, 20, uh, I, don't know, I, don't think, I don't know if we've actually set that up yet, but that's the plan anyway, to have two or three mixers at a high dollar value where we're going to give away like 10 to 20 wax party invites at a time. And I'm sure there'll be like fillers for it where people can win their way into... Uh, win their way into the break as well. 167 out of 199, Rookie Auto, Jordan Diaz. For the Oakland A's, speaking of the A's, Tristan. And remember folks, the full Wax Party prize list is on jazbeescasebreaks.com. You can, you can see what the grand prize is gonna be, it's pretty nice. A lot of wax being given away by Jaspies, sports cards, and collectibles. Got Martin Maldonado for the Astros. Yoshi Sutsugo to 2023 for Texas. That over is looking real juicy. <laughs> you didn't take the over, did you? No. Oh. Wait, we're already 6.38 left and it's only... It's 5.8. My enemy hasn't scored in like five minutes. What's going on? Is it just good defense or bad offense or both? Uh, seems like maybe Another Outman for the Dodgers, Tristan. Got Kevin Newman, we've got a Cole Calhoun to 300. David say my kid has me on a deal where if I get in a break, I have to pay him that amount. So you owe him, how does that work? You owe him 40 bucks for getting into the breaks? Okay. 
Can I get paid for you joining my breaks? <laughs> Dakota Hudson Gold. Another Volpe. Hey, you know what? In addiction to group breaks, there could be worse things to be addicted to. I think this is, group breaks I think are relatively low on the, the, uh, the vice totem pole. <laughs> Walker Bueller to 2023. All right, let's see what else we got here. Some Jordan Walkers. J.P. Crawford, got a Josh Young, a Major League Material Relic for the Rangers, Tristan and Texas. Uh, we don't send paper unless it's numbered, right? Um, it depends on what the description says. I think for like Bowman Baseball, that's on the site right now, yeah, that's, the paper won't ship there. No, the paper will ship. I think all cards ship in that Bowman. That Bowman baseball jumbo break. I think maybe only in fillers if we use a Bowman box and we don't do paper. Sometimes in random team breaks we won't send paper, but but the Bowman pick your team, I think we do send paper on that. I think we do ship everything on that. Two ninety nine silver slugger. And it should say in the description either way though. For which one? Oh, for this one, all card ship in this one. Yeah, this is all paper. You would be getting nothing if if, if we if we said paper didn't ship. Yeah, and this one all cards ship. Everything you see here is shipping. Nice, David. It's pa it's paper. All right. She still can. She's, uh, David, she can still get you some paper for the anniversary. First of many, I hope. Connie's saying, oh, you're confusing, yeah, you're confusing the Series 2 with Bowman. Oh, this is Series 2. The anesthesia today. What, uh, I hope you're feeling good, feeling okay. Easier. I guess you're home. So that's a good good sign. Feel better. Do I feel like Michael Jackson? How, how in what sense? Like a smooth criminal? A thriller, maybe? I 
Yeah. They dead? Dude, Michael Jackson is no longer with us. I don't want to feel like Michael Jackson. Oh, you meant you were talking to Tanya. Yeah. Hopefully Tanya's not feeling like Michael Jackson. He's, Michael Jackson is no longer with us. happened with that was did the doctor that was administering all that was there ever a lawsuit or anything I know who is the, why am I blanking I think Maradona Diego Maradona uh, the the famous soccer player apparently uh, apparently his death is under investigation be a whole trial and everything a lot of doctors involved Possible funny business. There's PJ Higgins at 299. He got in a decent amount of trial. I don't know if there's going to be there. At some point, there has to be some sort. Ah, involuntary manslaughter. Okay. I feel like uh, I feel like there's got to be like some sort of some sort of Netflix documentary or some movie that's going to happen, right? Walker. Yeah, I'd, I'd watch a little show about that. Oh, what a wild, wild time. All right, Aaron Saval, and there's Lenin Sosa for, uh, for EA and the White Sox. Mayor to 2023. Another Jordan Walker, Cardinals, James. Alec Manoa, hopefully he can figure things out right here. Did you know that you're allowed to pull Mariners? It, Chad, did you know that this break is not over yet? How about that? Boom, Mariners. Getting all of these, Chad. So many Mariners here. Stack them. You're going to have a pile of Mariners cards going your way. To 499, 
Twins, Target Field. You know, Chad, all it takes is one. If there's one one of one Super Fractor Mariner that it pops out of here, if that's the only card you got, I think at the end of the day, I think you'd be, even, even Chad would be satisfied. You never know what's going to happen. Who knows? This is why we open these up. This is why we play this game. That's Colton Wong. I saw Julio Rodriguez insert, World Baseball Classic insert earlier. You got 20% off the Mariners price. I mean, I feel like you're already ahead. You're already winning. There's Charles LeBlanc, 2023. The batting average one, is he really batting 120? Ouch. Hey, you know what? It's better than zero. Better than, than Cal Raleigh, who's like 0 for 15 in like the last 15 at bats. It's my fantasy team. That'd be quite the insult to injury if if there was a pitcher that hit for that pinch hit for Colton Wong. Yeah, maybe, maybe uh, d yeah. Does he get on base? Maybe he gets walked a lot. Tony sinking. You met Cal Raleigh's uncle, Uncle Dumper. Uncle the Big Dumper. Oh, he doesn't walk at all, okay. All right, there's Mike Trout, RBI leader, commemorative patch, Angels, Jeremy Smith. I would literally take anyone over Colton Wong, says Chad. And yeah, he got benched for someone that you've never heard of, so you got your wish. That's literally anyone. Yeah, I don't mind those Aces cards. I think they're pretty cool. It'd probably look pretty cool to see a set of those. If someone build a set. Um, I only wish that they would have other playing cards. You know, like if there was like, like a King's card and a, and a Jack, you know, they could expand that a little bit. Yeah, like a jack of all trades. All 
All right, final box. Yeah, not a lot of games today. I think Mondays, Thursdays are generally... Thursdays are generally a travel day. I guess Mondays, too. They'll, they'll be... They'll, the Sunday would be like the end of a three or four game series, and then... But it's fewer games than usual. Yankees box hopper. Final box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Yeah, basically, I want to make uh, make poker hands out of out of those uh, playing card cards. How would we get? I don't know how many of these uh, these macho ball players. I don't know if they'd be on a on a queen card, but maybe if it's like a Mother's Day, maybe they honor honor their moms, something like that. I think it's our making some poker hands. I will. I will. I'll talk. I'll talk to the Tops design team. I think we've got some. Uh, we've got some people. P. J. Higgins. Robinson Trinos to four ninety nine for the O's. That'll be for Aaron. And then we've got Orange A Nick Allen to two ninety nine. That'll be for Tristan. Folks, I made a crucial error. I forgot to hit the uh, place order. Hit that place order button for my uh, for my dinner, and I only just realized it when I had a box or two left. And I am. Now this, I don't know when this, now I have to wait another half an hour? I'm starving. All right, there's Matt Swarmer, Cubs rookie auto for Chris and Chicago. All right, tell them to get rid of the top sticker they put on their top loader. You can't get it off. Oh, are you talking about like for like redemptions and stuff? There's Michael uh, Ciani to 2023. I don't mind it, the sticker. I think it's kind of gives you, it's almost like a, like a seal. So you know it hasn't been messed with. Like a like a freshness seal on a delivery, or maybe a a wax seal on a on a medieval letter being sent across the country. By the uh, by the king or prince or queen. Uh oh, Rex saying you were looking at reading your chart more closely from the doctor. Rex recently had a little, little injury at work. And it said swelling, which could show a bone contusion. weren't we weren't we talking about possible bone contusion, bone bruise? 
initially speaking, because there were no, there was not as much swelling. The ligament seemed to be fine, but there's still pain. Dr. Joe Jaspi is in, ladies and gentlemen, for entertainment purposes only. I am not a medical professional. This is not medical advice. Now, if uh, the bone bruise, um, I suppose, how would, how would a bone bruise re recover? Do you have to put ice on that? What does your medical professional say, Rex? Do you put ice on that? I think you still have to kind of work it a little bit, kind of not just completely stay immobile. A lot of people are saying, uh, classically, people are saying, here's one of those ace cards we were talking about. Classically, people have said rice, right? Rest, ice, compression, and elevation would be the, uh, the rule of thumb. But I feel like some uh, medical professionals are, are shifting that a little bit, saying, hey, you still kind of have to move it around a little bit. It can't be immobile. Got to get the blood flowing and working to, uh, to that region to, uh, to enhance repair. Jorge Soler, there is Nolan Gorman, Rookie Relic. That's gonna be for James and St. Louis. Yeah, those bone bruises, I feel like that's not something that's just going to, you know, that you can't just power through. You just kind of have to balance that out. No, I have no background in healthcare at all. That's why this Dr. Joe Jaspi segment is, uh, is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> this is not medical advice. There's Alejandro Kirk. Please seek out your medical professional before uh, enacting any sort of recommendation or, or policy from Dr. Joe Jaspi. But the doctor is in. <laughs> There's also the uh, Joe Jaspi Esquire segment where I give uh, non-licensed legal advice for entertainment purposes only. There's also a uh, Joe Jaspi handicapper. Right, right, right. You got You got to talk. Yeah, that guy's an actual doctor. Ken Jong is actually a doctor. USA. I think so. I think WWE's on USA. It's Jordan Walker and the last final silver packs. I, re I read a lot, Tani. I read a lot. All right, we got a numbered card at the end. Could it be autograph? No, but it's a nice Albert Pujols blue, 148 out of 150. 
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Brave 2023 Tops Series 2 Baseball Jumbo in the books. This case was no bueno. I thought the case was fine. I think it's fine for the people that hit. Maybe not fine for the people that did not hit. It's fine for Diego and the Diamondbacks with a nice home field advantage, Corbin Carroll. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for having fun with us. And I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.